get the echo. Slam. Oh, there it is. Dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hi, guys. I have a question. What is the hardest quest in Block Fruits? For your answer, please comment it on the comment section now. And for my answer, I'm going to give you some clues. For the requirements, you need 20,400,000 bellies in order to finish this quest. You also need 25,000 fragments, grind some materials, and you need some drops from bosses. Wait a minute! Okay guys, so do you have an idea now? If you have, comment it in the comment section. And for the best answer, I will pin it, okay? For the quest, I'm going to show it to you now. So let's head to the first sea. Yes, we are here in the first sea. Next up, you need to head to the pirate village. Okay, you're having an idea now on what it is? And then you need 150,000 bellies to buy this fight style, the dark step. There you go. And after that, now you need to head to the next island. And that island is the Skylands. You need to find an NPC that is located in the bottom of this island. You need 500,000 bellies to buy the electric fight style. Okay. Next up, you need to head to the underwater city and you need 750,000 bellies and find this NPC to buy the water kung fu. Guys, make sure to have 400 master on all 3 fight styles to proceed. Next up, let's head to the second sea. There you go. So guys, in this sea, you will be needing fragments from now on. So how can you get fragments? You need raids and sea beasts. So first, the Dragon Breath is located here. You need 1,500 fragments to buy it from Sabi. Next stop, you need to head to the Ice Castle and start defeating the Ice Admiral, the Awakened Ice Admiral. You need to get the Library Key from him. So every time you defeat him, there is a 10% chance. You can also get the Hidden Key. There you go. Guys, this is not part of the quest, but you can get Rigoku from getting this key. Okay? So back to the quest, you can open this door using the library key. You need 2,500,000 bellies, 5,000 fragments, and 400 mastery on the dark step to buy the dead step. After that, we are not yet done. You need to head to the Forgotten Island and start defeating the Tide Keeper. Same with the Ice Admiral, you need to get the water key for a 5-10% to chance, okay? Drop chance, there you go. So once you get it, you need to head to Dyke Rock, give it to him and pay him 2.5 million bellies, 5,000 fragments, and also 400 mastery is required in the Water Kung Fu. And last but not the least, head to the Snow Mountains. You need 3 million bellies, guys. That's a lot we've been spending. 400 masters on all V1 fight styles. You need to look for Martial Arts Master and buy the Superhuman. Next up, third C. Okay, so in the third C, first let's head to the Turtle Island. We need to look for an NPC, and that NPC is the previous hero located here. Guys, you need 400 mastery on the electric fight style, 3 million bellies, and 5,000 fragments. But before that, finish a quest first. You need to go to the mansion in 30 seconds from here in this NPC. So with the door fruit, it's pretty easy. Next stop, head to the Haunted Castle. You need to get the Fire Essence from the Dark King. You need Bones to spin and you have a 5% chance to get the Fire Essence. You can only spin 10 times every 2 hours, okay? So the Fire Essence looks like this one. Guys, this is not the Fire Essence. Uh, this is the Hollow Essence. So guys, you need to give it to use off the NPC located here. There you go. And you need 3 million bellies. 5,000 fragments and 400 mastery on the dragon breath Okay guys, so once you get all those requirements head to the turtle island Again, all five styles should have 400 mastery So at the back of the musketeer pirates, okay, you need to head there. There's a tree there you go and there is a hole there Okay, so inside this is the NPC You need 5 million bellies 5,000 fragments again finish the god human quest so guys except from v4 race awakening do you think god human is the hardest quest in blood fruits comment it in the comment section as for the race awakening let's wait for the hint and for the god human guys is spending 20 million bellies and 25,000 fragments worth it let's just try it i will get an elite hunter quest and try the god human okay so m1 left clicks first 
Okay, so we're just gonna use M1 left clicks. Check this out, guys. It's really fast. There you go. With the help of our observation hockey, I think we can defeat this Diablo with just left clicks. There you go. Almost done. So, guys, M1 is fast. Damage is good. And if you wanna grind masteries, it's easy because your character won't launch forward. Next up, the skills. So, guys, we're gonna test it on Indra. Yes, we got the God's Chalice while fighting or finishing Elite Hunter quests. So, this is the Z skill, the Soaring Beast. There you go. This is the Sea skill, the Slash Realm Gun. And we have the Heaven and Earth. There are two ways to use the X skill. So, first, the tap. I'm gonna show it to you. Let's wait for it to cool down. So, while waiting for it, we're gonna use the Z and C skill to damage Indra. So here it is guys, X skill. Oh, it was covered by Sioru attack. Again, let's wait for it. This is the C skill, 5,086 damage, not bad. This is the Z skill. There you go, boom, 4-2. Guys, this is the X skill tap. Did you see that guys? It's long range, 3,800 damage. Okay, so guys, do you think we can beat Indra using the God Human? Also take note that there is a time limit when defeating Indra. Okay, so there you go. So far we're doing great even without using the observation hockey. Some info regarding this boss. Guys, you need all legendary hackies in order to summon him. Plus a God's Chalice. Also, this boss gives out the most bounties. Okay, if you defeat him. This boss has two forms, yes. And at the second form, he will be using the Slayer skin of the Yoru. So guys, as you can see, we only have like 1,400 HP. <laughs> so I think it is not possible to defeat this boss just using the God Human. But there is a way. Once Indra defeats us, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so Q dash left click, Q dash left click. Okay, we're still fighting. Oh, I almost forgot you can also get the Dark Dagger here and the Valkyrie Helmet. So there you go, we're dead. Guys, payback time, we are gonna use the Human Buddha Fruit and use M1 left clicks to defeat him. <laughs> so if you want to defeat Indra using any fight style or any sword or any... I don't know if you can use gun, but just use Buddha, awakened or not, okay? Just use your left clicks, there you go. And to make it look cooler, we will transform back to human form and use our Z skill to defeat him. <laughs> there you go, one more Z skill. Okay, so guys, that's it for this video. Hmm, is it worth it? Hmm, I'm not a fan of fight styles. I still prefer that step. How about you guys? Comment it in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. This is Gamer Numb, and Gamer Numb out.